So today's job is to make the pattern for the cassette plate for the Triumph gearbox. So if you didn't already know, this cassette plate is for a V4 two-stroke Grand Prix motor that I am making from scratch. So if that's something you want to see, make sure to subscribe. So let's get on with it. So if you haven't seen this before, this is my fixture plate. It has a slot along here, um, which you can set up with a square on the table. I just verified uh, this distance to here with a digital caliper and a 1-2-3 block. And it's within 0.2 mils, bearing in mind that the length of this, correction, the width of this, is all over the show. So it's close enough for what we are doing. The next thing to do is touch on and find the center. And from there we can machine the foam blank into a pattern for the V4 motor. The first step for this project is to get the cassette plate cast. The reason I'm starting with the cassette plate is it's the smallest casting. I can try a few new things. This is going to be heat treated from a known quality aluminium and then from there I can use the manual milling machine accurately machine all of the bearing bores on the correct centers and ream and drill any other holes required so I'm not planning on using my CNC for any of the precision machining uh, on this cassette plate or let alone uh, the rest of the engine so if this casting goes well, I will then cast the main crankcase. Now, I'll start with the front part the cylinders mount to, as it is the smallest of the two. Although I don't think I will be cutting the foam on my milling machine, as it will take ages. I am going to use a CNC router to take care of that. So here it is, all done and dusted. You can see I've added this piece that will, will be machined off later as a bit of a datum for when I come to machine it. It still needs a small addition here, um, a raised portion, so I'll cut that out of another bit of foam and then just glue it on. But the plan now is to find someone who can cast this for me, so stay tuned. <laughs> 